All right. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome. Welcome to SketchUp Live. Welcome to... Uh, it's a brand new setup. That's why I'm all dressed up today is because, uh, yeah, this is a new streaming setup. I'm actually streaming from home and not the studio today. Um, and how did we expect this would go? <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I am Aaron and uh, I'm going to be modeling for you today. With me today is Jody Gates. Hey, everybody. Who I believe you can hear that OBS is telling me you can hear. Of course, OBS was also telling me I had a beautiful stream coming out. So <laughs> who can you believe nowadays? Um, yeah, let us know how it's going. I will I will fully take the blame on this and say that, uh, yes, this could have been operator malfunction. This could have been, uh, you know, here's the thing about software. You know, software. So anyhow, <laughs> with that compelling <laughs> argument, uh, how's it going? So it's been maybe, a while. Did you uh, did you save your settings before, or is this uh, well? Is this flashback to unsaved files. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's hope we're not focusing any uh, Notre <laughs> Dame into this building model today. No, I think I think it was a little some weirdness with. Uh, you know, every every place we stream from, we set up a new instance of OBS, which is the streaming software we use. And it means you got to set up like 60 different settings the same every time. And uh, I, I think we just had we had a super high frame rate, like a 60 frames per second. And uh, we dropped that down to 30. And now it seems to be OK. Doesn't OBS mean often breaks software or something like that? Oh boy, streaming. <laughs> uh, that's probably what it means, isn't it? Is that what it means? <laughs> yeah, I gotta know. Open broadcasting software. Uh, so oh, yeah, that sounds mean. Uh, that sounds lame. Yeah, it's not as cool. But uh, but today's mm. gonna be cool. This is gonna be fun. So I'm glad to be back here. We had a couple of weeks. We had a week off, and then Eric was sick for a week, and we kind of made the call like right at the end that that uh, to cancel. But uh, he was back at it last week. It was. Good, a good, uh, good model he created. So we're gonna hop in today and do some architectural modeling. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the thumbnail or or in the forum. If you didn't learn about this from our forum, you can find out what's going on with our live stream forums.sketchup.com. If you don't subscribe, you should probably subscribe too because you get notified when we go live. If this is something you like, um, but we're gonna jump in and we're gonna do some modeling of a conceptual building from, of all places, of course, Dubai, because there's actually laws in place that says you can't build a building that looks like a building in Dubai. It has to look like <laughs> something else. Uh, or from a matte painting in Star Wars. That's You can be inspired by that. You can always always work with that. I, yeah. uh, I'm i looking forward to seeing how you tackle this, because this is a hot mess of floors and swimming pools and it's a unique, it is a unique structure. And that's why we picked it. We didn't want to do, uh, you know, like Notre Dame or Big Ben or. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> uh, yeah. Any, anything like that, that uh, we've already done. So we're going to try something, something that doesn't exist in the real world, but it's still architecture. So uh, let's hop in. Now, are they actively building? Like, is this. Is it no. really going to be built or is this? Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, some people are still potentially having problems. If that's the case, uh, you might, we had to restart the stream a couple of times. So you might hit refresh, uh, reload your page or close and open again. Apologize for that little bit of a hiccup there in the beginning, but we're back. We're running now. So let's, uh, let's get, let's get in here. Let's do this thing. So in case you aren't aware of the building we're talking about, I'm going to go ahead and load it in. I'm just going to load it in as a watermark. I like using watermarks because with a watermark, I can just have it sitting on the corner of the page. You can see it. I can see it. That sort of thing. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and go into uh, my styles. There we go. And then I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go to watermarks. And I'm going to load. I have two of them here. Uh, one of them's in the day, one of them's at night. I'll go ahead and open the, the daytime one. All right. 
So we're in the, I'm going to put it in the background because I want that full color. And next, I'm going to position it in the top left corner. That way, it kind of fits for you guys. Kind of see, I want to mess my hair up, but uh, yeah, let's be good. All right, so that gives me plenty of space here. Watermarks are something that I use when I do live modeling. We've talked about this a little bit before. I wouldn't actually use a watermark if I was just sitting down at my desk. I would open this picture on a separate monitor or something like that. But because we only have one page we can show you guys, uh, I'm gonna throw it up in the corner here. So ideally, if everybody watching could just get like a one of those gigantic super widescreen monitors, mm -hmm. and then we could project wider like that. It would really help. Come on, guys, pitch in a little, would you? It's oh, not us, it's you. <laughs> That's that book. Everybody every, everybody is appreciating your shirt. Oh, good. Yeah, I got your stuff. Told... Yeah. Just nice. Deal. I haven't been on for a while, so I was a little nervous, and I thought uh, if I <laughs> if I dressed like I was self-assured that I would I would feel that more. So yeah, don't get cocky, kid. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thanks for keeping me grounded, Jody. <laughs> All right. So this is a weird looking building. They're calling it the Ohm because I'm assuming because it looks like the Greek letter Ohm, you know, the, the Ohm shape. I think that's fair. Call it. Sure. Uh, so I was, I was, I picked this out at first. And I was like, oh man, this is, we're going to do some like solid shapes and some intersecting. And I realized it's not quite as crazy as it appears to be. And let me, let me tell you what I'm talking about here. So down at the bottom, we have a fairly simple platform. The first six floors down here are pretty simple. There's this kind of soft arch that goes in between right here, um, but fairly straightforward. We can play with that. We'll play with that a little bit. But but the main portion, so the, the, the tower here, uh, what we got oh. is a couple things. So there's, there's this, I don't know, cable type shape. It goes up and around like this. And I'm, I got to point out too, that there's only like three renders of this building available on, on the internet. So <laughs> there's, there could be stuff going on from the side, the back, that kind of thing. Um, I like conceptual models because then I can wing it and not feel so bad. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not dissing an architect or a builder who put, uh, you know, years into something, uh, but it's still a cool model. So what happens is it's got like this like this pipe looking thing that comes up over comes back around like that in the middle they do have this big egg big silver egg floating in the middle but i, I want i'm gonna call it a terrarium okay i like that i i hope it's something other than just a big silver chunk so hopefully it's functional in some sort of way it looks like there's a little pool underneath it maybe it's well, a, so if you look in the nighttime shot, the top opens up like a flower. Like all of the things come forward, they, they close into an egg, but at nighttime, it looks like there's a little, the petals open up. Wow. That's probably why they didn't build it. They're like, oh, never mind. This is too yeah, complicated. We, we don't need a silver egg flower. We'll just, yeah, probably, probably the reason. Yeah. Um, but if you look at it from here in the middle where, where the egg sort of interrupts it, it's pretty much just straight rectangle, right? And then what yep. we have is we have these decks that come out and then they flare out into these pools. Every floor has a pool. That's what the, these little blue things are. So each one does that. And what happens is each one is just offset slightly from the one above. So the floor shrinks ever so slightly coming back to this main corridor and gets larger when it's further out, then it gets shorter and then it gets longer again. So this, this, the shape is not actually as crazy as I originally thought it was um, to the point that like, it doesn't make sense to make the whole thing and start intersecting a bunch of stuff to create geometry. I think there's a simpler way to do it. We're going to hop in and, and give that a shot right now. All right. I have no idea of scale of this thing at all. I mean, I know these are, these are floors. So, you know, this is like maybe about 10 feet right here. Um, so I'm going to start. So I just countered. It looks like there's 30, 30 floors above the, the base. All right. We can work with that. So the base, and I think, is six. Would you buy that? One, two, uh, three, sure. Four, I think four, that. Five, six ish. Sure. All right. So say I put this up uh, 60 feet. 
Oh, wait. I'm getting eight, okay. counting the, the ground floor. Fine. I just pushed that up 20 inches. Let's start over. All right, let's take that up. This is just, 80 what feet. is this, a luxury, luxury apartment for ants? <laughs> Uh, I just watched a Sorry. video from Corridor Crew talking about all the ants that are on the Earth, and they they render it out what it would look like, and uh, they kept having that clip from Zoolander of him standing from the hotel. Oh, why would they? Oh, because the Ant Man are they playing with yeah, Ant Man stuff? So. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna take this and make it into a group. I'm gonna take that piece right there. I'm gonna copy it out of the group. And then I'm going to paste it in place. I am using 2023 today, uh, which I only point that out because I don't have my shortcut in place for paste in place. See that? Uh oh, I guess I'll bet you that answers one of the other questions that just popped up was, are you planning on using any extensions for this? I wasn't sure. So I went and grabbed a handful of extensions. I did. Um, so I huh. did this morning. I went and downloaded some of my my top extensions, my most commonly used extensions, my Fredo, my TomTom. Tom. I went and got that stuff uh, this morning because I was like, I don't know where this is going to go. I never know. It, it nice. Could be crazy. That's why we're all here. We're That's all right. here to watch you not succeed. <laughs> the answer is not no in that regard. Watch me not know. Okay. Um. So I'm going to take this face and I'm going to make it a group. And I'm going to take that group. And what did you, did you say? 30 floors? 30 floors up top, yeah. And two of them don't have pools, it looks like. So I'm going to bring this up 10 foot, 29x. Okay. Do you have, yeah, your, I... do you have your, pro, your program to show your keys? Your oh. key structure? Yes, I do. I got frazzled. I got frazzled by, by you know, the whole uh, yeah. can't stream thing. So... So Debs 31's got some some numbers here that all might work for you. So they said 380 to 400 feet, 80 feet for the base, and 300 to 320 plus or minus for the ohm section up top. All right. That's his, that's his speculation. I think it makes sense for our purposes to just have this be flipped front to back. Although if you look at it at the base of your picture there, yeah, it looks there like appears it's... to be... There's something else going on behind that we just can't ever see. So yeah, so this this tube right here, you can see it does it splits and it goes back somewhere. But then right here, it comes and it's in the middle of these decks down here. So I'm gonna make it symmetrical front to back, the same. Um, I have a feeling something else is going on in back because, like I said, this comes off. So I kind of wonder if that comes back around the back side of this set. I don't know. I can speculate all day, but it doesn't help. It doesn't do anything for anybody. Wait. We think this is an ohm symbol, but actually it's a horseshoe crab. That's possible. I mean, it's Dubai. There are no rules. That's right. There are no rules. All right. So with that, I did 31 floors. I did 30. Why is it not going straight across? I did 31 floors because I wanted this to be above it. So I'll take that. And I'm just going to draw a line in the middle here. And what we're going to do, so basically, I want a little bit of an arc coming like this, and then I want to come back out like this, and then I want to come up like this, and then this this goes, you can see it goes well above the top floor. So I'm going to say I'm going to take it up like another, I don't know, 20 feet above something. No, I'll say 30 feet. I'll allow it. Thank you, sir. All right, something like that. Um so I think what I'll do is I'm going to, from right about, I don't know, here-ish, I'm going to draw one arc, I'm going to draw another arc coming this way, another arc, you know, I'm going to do multiple, I don't have Bezier curve installed, I'm occurring, that's occurring to me now. So I have to draw this with arcs instead. Now you can just use the freehand tool because it's so good now. It, it is, is good. So good. I, I it's better. It, I, will, I will say the freehand tool is a lot better, but... Something like this where I got to snap to sections and that kind of thing. That's yeah. not quite exact enough for me, but it is better. Like I know, I know you're saying a little tongue in cheek, but but it's it's definitely better than it was for sure. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, it is better. <laughs> better I agree. Than. And and it was a very low bar. That's true. Be better than. That's very true. 
right. So I'm going to yeah, draw. Andy said, I thought that, uh-huh. Andy said, I thought Bezier was included. I thought it was too now, but I don't remember. That's the problem with being here for 20 years is no. you forget, you forget what exists and doesn't. It's, it's an extension. It is from the SketchUp team. So it's, it's a internal extension, but yeah, it's not, you have to install it separate. Um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to draw a line horizontally. So when I come and I put my arc in, uh, I can snap tangent to that and then just kind of play with where I want to pull this down to. So something like maybe there. And then we'll come in. Actually, I didn't like how that turned out. I want to get. I don't know if it's just happening to me or everyone else. Periodically, your my it sounds like your microphone is like blocked and you're talking, and then all of a sudden it gets better again. Maybe I was mumbling. I don't know. Let's let me know. Let me know how it goes. All right. It's not happening enough to be problematic, but well, not for you. Your your standards are are, are pretty low when it comes to me, Joe. <laughs> I do have low, low standards. I'm going to not continue with that that line of discussion though, because I'll probably say something mean or inappropriate. Odds are good. All right. So I'm going to say something like that. I'm not going to, I'm not going to beat that horse too much, too much harder than that. Um, I'm going to take that and I'm going to grab it. Flip it around like that. I'm going to make that a group. I'm going to put that back over here just to see how it looks up against all the floors. Yeah, okay. So you're, I'm, I'm already starting to see, I see where I'm going with this, fortunately. Um, it, for better or worse? Yeah. Well, it's good to know that I understand where I'm going with something, being as I am the one doing it. All right. Um, cool. All right, so... The first thing I want to do is I want to take, I want to create this, this just a circular profile and have it go all the way down like that. Um, so what I'm going to do, let's see, what am I going to do? I'm going to grab all these floors and temporarily hide them, get them out of my way. Um, so if you don't temporarily hide them, that's just called deleting them, right? Permanently permanent hiding. hiding. Yeah, that's the big, the big hide, as they call it. <laughs> that's right gone, gone for good all right mm. so here's a tip um i want to if i come in right now with a circle and i draw a circle right here to use with follow me i'm not going to get a circular profile i'm going to get like an elliptical profile because it's going to drag it at this angle here so one of the things I try to do is something like this. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna create this, is I'll take this line and draw it down. Hide everything else. I'll take this and draw it down. Like that. And now I can put a circle flat to the ground right here. I have no idea how big to make this. I mean, what is that? That's probably huge, right? It's probably like a couple feet across. So we'll say two feet. Yeah, I would expect. I would expect. We'll grab that, and you know, I'm gonna just to, just to. I don't know how crazy this this file is gonna get if we're gonna get like lots and lots. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this kind of kind of low, snappy. I'll just make this a twelve sided circle. I'm gonna soften it so you won't be able to tell the difference. I'll grab all of that, and by doing that, when I do uh, my follow me, which I also don't have my shortcut set up for, I'm gonna say it's probably three to four feet across. It's so like looking at the size of people standing yeah. on platforms next to it. There we go. All right. We'll grab all that. Soften it up. All right. Hey, we got an award. We just created an award. Nice. Best conceptual an honor architecture to goes to. Yeah. I like it. I like it. This is fun. This is going good. Okay. Um, you know what we should do now? Well, somebody has to have said it. Save. I like your soundboard, Jody. <laughs> Thanks. The cough, the save, and the cough. Save. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, nobody has said save yet anywhere. 
Uh, I, don't know. I thought I knew you guys. I think they. I think we threw him off by being almost fifteen minutes late because he didn't know how to start a stream. Ooh, sorry. I, was... I can't. I can't. I can't snap back on that. I can't say anything. I can't. <laughs> just. I just got to take that one on the chin and move on. Just, just grin and bear it. All right. Uh, something else I'm noticing right now, just as I'm looking at the uh, the different shapes going on here. Um, I was looking at this, kind of trying to make this about that same. I know there's some stuff thrown here, but like it's looking like this actually comes down, and then this whole section back here is different. So this is not actually in the middle. This is actually be over here some ways, more like that. So this is where the that actually comes out. Um, I should probably push that over. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna need some numbers sooner or later here. So let's say let's say 24 feet. Let's say it. 24 feet. Nah, let's say 30 feet. 30 feet. Uh, so job. I'm sitting here trying to find I'm trying to find other pictures, and you're right. There are literally three pictures of this thing. So uh, <laughs> but I did a, I found a fourth source. Somebody modeled this in Minecraft, <laughs> which is funny because there's no such thing as curves in Minecraft. It's hey, it's all just pixels. Sooner or later, we're it's, all just pixels, man. That's, true. that's right. If you get far enough away, if you squint your eyes enough, Kirby. Uh, yeah, Bill, this is using SketchUp 2023, which is why Aaron doesn't have his shortcuts. Just missing <laughs> a few. All right. So this right here is where my, this is my tower right here in the middle. This is like right coming up against this curve. And that's going to work. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to take this piece, push that up 10 feet, because that's 10 feet. Okay, so... Randy said that he still haven't used 2022 because he can't use his 3D mouse. So, and it occurred to me as I was saying, that's probably a problem. I'm like, wait, I'm sure Aaron's using his. So there you go. Now you can explain how you got it working. So uh, the installer for uh, the space mouse is from August, I think. So it doesn't have, oh. it, it, it was created before 23 was released. But what right. you can do is you can go grab, go to your 2022 plugins folder and copy that folder into 2023. And in mine, the only thing in the plugins folder was 3DX, where something like that they call it. Oh yeah, that Wait, was so it. You, so. so you did run the installer or you literally it was already I, installed. I ran the installer, the old one, and it okay. didn't put anything in for 2023 because it's it was it doesn't know okay. what 2023 even is. Right. Yeah. So run the installer afterwards. Go and copy the stuff from your 2022 folder, plugins okay. folder. Exactly. Nice. All right. Look at you solving problems while modeling one of the hardest models you've ever done. Wow, I, I, I appreciate that. Uh, I mean, it's no Cobra, but. <laughs> but you didn't really model a Cobra, did you? I don't know what that thing was. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Sorry, sorry. I, I appreciate it. See, that's sorry. why Joey's got to stay here to keep me from uh, from getting a swole head, apparently. Yeah, I'm I'm just trying to keep you grounded. You, you are uh, doing it. You're doing it. Okay, so. I want to, I'm, I'm using some, just some broad numbers. I gotta, I don't want to just have like a mess of stuff. I want to actually have this be, I don't know, a, something realistic ish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, so this is, I said this was 30 feet. So I'm going to draw another line back here, 30 feet, put an arc between oh I just did 30 inches didn't I okay let's try it maybe I did it was it was 30 feet all right I'll draw an arc all right 
So that goes away. That goes away. That goes away. I'm going to take this up. 12. And this is the beginning of my floor. So the other thing the floor has is right here. I'm going to come out. I don't know. How far is that? Goes? It comes out. 10 feet. <laughs> 10 feet. Wow. I'm really, I'm really all about drawing inches here. Um, we'll say it's a 10. Maybe by you should 20. change your default, change your default units to feet. That's actually not a bad <laughs> idea. Probably, probably <laughs> smart thinking. Um, no, that's, that's not the right shape. We'll go here another 10 feet. I just have to, you know, you know me, I just have to, I have to injure myself on it a certain number of times and eventually I will get it. You know what? I'm going to use, I'm going to use, uh, Freehand right now. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna start here. Nice, nice. Go. This is gonna come. I, I did. Bill said that we would. You would be running into this feet inches issue if you were just using meters. No, I'd be running into a whole <laughs> different issue, which is drawing stuff that I don't know how big it is. I'd be like, to the that wrong looks scale. pretty big, right? And then I'd look over and I'd be like, Hey, there's Heather, the scale model. Yeah. I, I appreciate where you're going with that, Bill, but uh, yeah, I can't. I can't. All right. I'm Not gonna, with that attitude, that's for sure. That's right. Darn right you can't. Naysayer. I'm going to create a couple of shapes and just kind of play around with them. Stretch out a circle. Copy this over here like that. Yeah. And do a low poly like a four-sided arc here take that back over here something like that and then i'll get rid of all of this I'll take this oh yeah that's the stuff cool um Awesome. So this right now is our floor. I should make this. I don't want to do this. Um, I love how much of your process is kind of just mumbling uh, about whether or not that was the right thing to do. Okay. Mostly because it's how I model. I, I'm just trying to keep it real with you guys. Um, all right. So there is, again, not a whole lot of detail in here, right? But um, I'm going to say that I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to grab this, offset that. Oh, we've been doing 10, so I'm going to say 10 foot. I like it. Thank you. And bring that down to <laughs> cool ends. And just to keep it the same or similar kind of flow, we go like that. And then this, I'm going to take up nine feet. And then because this is a pool, I'm going to option push that up. It can't be a very big pool, by the way. Uh, I mean, it can't be real deep, right? This is like something you just kind of stand in. All right. And in feet. a bunch of the, in the bunch of a bunch of the renderings, you see that it's, you know, well, like at the widest pot, you can see there's a woman back floating in one. So let's assume that it's maybe six to eight feet let's call it eight feet at the widest spot eight feet's gonna but be like up here. You're, you're gonna oh widest i was okay, talking maybe. about height like it's a waiting oh, height, pool, height. right uh it looks i mean obviously you know scale issues i'm gonna call it four to five feet let's go four right, let's go. four work sure it's enough you can float with your feet off and you're not on your knees okay so we'll call it four feet um All right, so I'm gonna soften some stuff here. Cool, 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 cool. That looks all right. And then so I'm going to Lawrence consolidate consolidated a bunch of the different, well, the other six images that exist for this thing up onto the forum. Ooh. And you can kind of in some of these shots, you can realize that I think the backside of it is probably just really boring. People that live behind this building are just like, oh. I love it. It's just a big 
that place. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think there's pools on that side. Probably because it, there's never any sun. It's always shady over there. Nobody wants to swim in the shade. Yeah. The shady side of the ohm. Oh. <laughs> you know. Those guys. Those guys. The dark ohm people. All right. So I'm going to... I don't know. I... Um, so you've, you've largely lived in this area, so you might not be familiar. But when I, so when I grew up, I, was, I lived in Oklahoma where summers would get so hot that swimming in the pool, and, it's, and it was more noticeable at nighttime. It was almost like swimming in a bathtub. The water was so warm. You're just like, uh, it's, at some point, it's not even refreshing to get in the water. Sounds right. But at 10 o'clock, jumping in a pool that is not completely freezing is pretty cool. So. The good with the bad. Oh, and I also, so. I lived in Oklahoma. That was also part of the bad. <laughs> Got that going for you, which is... Hey. All right. Um, I'm going to save. And this, so this is, this is my whole, this is my whole thinking for this thing. I'm going to take this right here. I'm going to option copy it up 29 times or 29 inches. I don't know, you know, this is, there's something beyond. It's not a new version thing. This, these are all commands that have worked the exact same way <laughs> ever since I've used the software. There's a thing going on. Jody and I were actually just talking about how it's cold season here and how we are both like, mm -hmm. not, not a hundred percent. I'm going to blame yeah. it on that. Yeah, that's it. That's the reason. Normally summertime, whew, my game is on yeah yeah there's there's a thing happening it's the winter it's 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 a little bit of a sniffle it's a it's an issue okay so now here here was my thinking it's not gonna be the most exciting thing to do right this second but uh it's not gonna be quite video card boring but uh this is this is definitely less exciting than 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 things other things that could exist. Because what I'm thinking is the easiest way to do this would be to oh I got all those dumb hold on I get rid of these these uh, get rid of those because I think the easiest way to do this is literally going to be stick this back here grab this guy whoops. him back here and just kind of like that the video I did of uh, creating a gas tank for a motorcycle where we're just gonna drop it back I was what I was actually trying to think of as I was visualizing this process I was thinking is there an extension that would make this happen quick and my first thought was something like drop Right. Gas tank, gas tank extension mod. Sorry, that little three D mouse. Me and three D mouse just argued, argued a little bit for a second there. Um, Sorry about that. That's right. It happens. Uh, anyway, you figured out the perfect extension to do this would be. Oh, I didn't. Uh, that's what I was saying. I, I, oh. I did not. I did not find in as I as I scoured my memory banks, which took seconds honestly um i did not find i could not think of something that would make this quick and easy but at the same time it's like well i don't know this kind of feels like hand stitching a little bit you know or, <laughs> that's literally i was gonna repeat that's what lawrence just said was this, this feels a lot like stitching it does so maybe i just need to find some like some good or jody i just you just got to get on some good solid asmr sounds and, there you uh, go we just em embrace Wait, embrace the monotony that is 3D modeling sometimes. Why did you say Jody? Am I ASMR? I I'm just saying I'm busy. You gotta make the sounds. Oh, okay. So <laughs> let me what like lip, like foods. I'm gonna have to take my earbuds out if that's how you <laughs> I can't. Uh speaking of stitching though, yes. I saw something to suggest that they are making a live action Lilo Lilo and Stitch movie. 
they do seem to be firing through the uh, the classics and making live animation out of them or live live motion. I, that, so. one's, that one seems particularly challenging. Although I guess if they did the Lion King, then they can do aliens. Yeah, but still, I mean, how weird. That's he, weird. He's made up, so it's not like you can get him wrong, right? That's right. I I do so True enough. I I I do want to ask. So every once in a while, uh, my wife will come across me 3D modeling, and she's like, "Ugh." I was just thinking of this because she's like, oh, "It seems so monotonous and." boring to do something you know like make a shape once and then make it again or framing framing a wall over like you guys ever get that kind of pushback from a partner where it's like oh what you do is so weird and tedious tedious yeah you guys ever get that oh but come on now hold on holy cow that looks surprisingly legit (laughs) i don't want to say i'm surprised by what i just did but (laughs) <laughs> they're like did i do that holy cow it worked i mean of course it worked um actually, um so i'm i'm not a good enough model that i get that modeler that i get to get that kind of pushback but i recognize the reason i'm not a good modeler is because as soon as it becomes tedious like that i start to be like eh, and i just lose, i get bored i lose interest transom said they get that pushback though yeah what that's what you do Ugh. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do a thing. I just I always go into search plus. I'm gonna create a tag called center. I'm gonna add this center piece here to uh, that tag. I'm then gonna come in here. Oops. I'm gonna come in. Lawrence's here. wife just touched. And Randy's wife just lets him go. Be free. Click all the things. I mean, I get where it comes from because sometimes I I do get bored with what I do myself. Oh, sugar. You know what just occurred to me? I was just going to use solid tools, and this is not a solid. No. It's It's got water in it. It's also groups and not components. (laughs) Uh-oh. Yeah, a comment was made that had you done components and you could just mirror it for the other side. Um, uh, if I had installed selection toys, I could just make it all into one, but also a thing I didn't do. Um, Hmm. Hmm. about that I have a lot of feelings well, about myself right now <laughs> you know just uh, just be forgiving forgive yourself in the way that you would forgive someone else All right. Pretend we, my are, child we are just did a stupid, stupid thing like that <laughs> yeah exactly pretend you are your child okay and that you're not an abusive parent oh, that's yeah that part's easier all right, so because I was just thinking, I'm like, oh, I'll just use solid tools and cut it all off, but that's not going to work because what I'll have to do now, it's not, it's this isn't terrible. I'll come in here, draw a line, and then push pull it back. I have to do it like that once. And the next time I do it, I'll do a line, push pull, double click, line. So let me ask you guys this. We all know that the uh, quicker, easier way to do what I'm doing would have been to make it a component like I should have, and then use the tool that's already native to make things happen. What's a monotonous workflow that you, I, and I know I've done this so many times, right? Is I go in, I do something, I'm like, oh, I beat my head against the wall. Brute force modeling, as I like to call it. And at the end of the day, I'm like, oh, there's got to be an easier way and find out that there is an extension that does just that thing. <laughs> what what's what does that happen? When's that happened to you before? And uh, what was the extension that saved you or showed up too late in some as is the case? So the way that I personally handle this is once I've done something brute force style, I make sure to not 
go look for the extension that would have made it easier. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I'm that much happier for my ignorance. I that being bliss, said, blissful ignorance. I like it. Anybody else out there got a thing? Peter Peter was wondering why you wouldn't push pull from the end to the guide. Oh, I guess I could do that, huh? I could go like this. See, you guys are my time-saving extension. There you uh, go. In case you so, aren't, in case you are not aware, you don't have to see a guide to use, or you don't have to see a face to use push pull on it. So even though it's hidden by this geometry right here, I'm hovering over that back face and just pulling it back to there. Good call. Good call. Nice, nice plan. It's um. It is also worth noting, though, that you do have to be inside the group. Correct. I can't. If if I was to take, like, from the outside, if I was to come here and do something like try to scale it back or something like that, um, I'll end up deforming the group and everything will get weird. Um, but yeah. So we're talking about monotony, but, I mean, sometimes I'm like, wow, if I just shut up and done that, that would only have been, which I, I, I hear you guys say regularly. I know what you're saying. Um, yeah, wouldn't have been so bad. So, uh, yeah, oh, go ahead. So, Eric just tuned in. Eric Lopez, he's not, not, not our Eric, okay. um, was pointing out that the pools are not above ground. But as I'm looking at it, I don't think that you I think that it just looks like the pools are maybe being above ground because you haven't gone out to create the rest of the floor, like. Yeah, see, those are not, they're not above ground. They just look like, they kind of look like they're above ground, but they're not. They just drop down into the next person's deck? Is a little bit, why, yeah. Like, there's a, there's a swoop. conceptual like architecture? Because it defies, yeah, it defies reality? That. Well, if you, if you look at, and actually, Lawrence put a bunch of new images on the forum post, if you wanted to go look. But there's, at the, the end where it goes up to be shallow again, it basically just arcs up, arches up there into the next level so it gets shallower like the uh the second oh, image from the from the bottom although it seems like it's kind of different based on the floor you're looking at i don't know so each of these floors must be like 15 oh. feet tall right yeah i guess okay so okay that second image from the bottom you're looking at like close to no it's hard to tell it's really it wonky well because they don't they have different shapes one to the next yeah mine's above ground Which, deal yeah there you go there you go <laughs> if you want to go and if, if <laughs> somebody wants if somebody wants if somebody wants to go and take a picture of the actual pools and post that here then we will fix it i will <laughs> that's right Excuse all right me. so this one here looks like it's a little different because it doesn't look, it looks like it doesn't have a pool. So something happens here that's different. Um, it just kind of looks like it maybe even. Lawrence's, this. Lawrence's crappy workflow that he had to overcome was remembering or having to go in and fix a lot of small triangle problems before realizing he should have modeled at a hundred, hundred time or a thousand times scale. Mm. Yeah, I, I feel that one. I know, I know that pain. Yeah. And that one's, you don't even have to go find an extension. You just have to remember to scale up and scale down. Yeah. That can be hard though. That's it's, it's a bummer to go. I just finished modeling and realized I should have done everything different. Oh, I regret <laughs> everything I've ever done. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah. I feel like my my projects tend to be small enough that I never end up cursing myself too much. I'm also one of those people whenever I'm typing a sentence, if I miss if I my fingers type past a word and I misspelled it, I'm more likely to just hit backspace the entire sentence <laughs> to fix that one word and then continue typing again. I I feel that one. It seems absurd to do, but it it feels like it, it often feels faster to just do that. I can feel that absolutely. All right, so it looks like this is what's happening here. So I'm just going to 
offset this six inches, which is what I used on the railing. Looks like it's just got something like that. It's got this little thing coming out. And then the next floor is where it gets really cool. I don't know why I said that that way. I don't, I don't know. It's not really cool. It's just a thing that happens. It is nice whenever watching you do this. Like sometimes, I'm talking about video cards here. Uh, doing the same thing over and over gets really annoying watching someone else do, but it doesn't feel quite as monotonous whenever you're just stitching. Maybe it's because maybe you don't end up stitching for as long. It's good to know, though. I don't know. Something to think about. Yeah. All right, and I'm going to take they yet. That got weirder than I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> I got to, all right, so let's deselect that. Do, who found this this model to even look at? I mean, so yeah, one thing so, I'm seeing here is this is eight years ago. This is a this is an old concept. So we have a group, those of you who are not aware, um, that does these this these live stream modelings. Uh, Myself, Tyson, and Eric end up doing the actual modeling part. And then uh, we have a cast of three, Jody, uh, Matt, and just kind of inference the center here, uh, Donovan, who hang out and help us out, co host, read comments. And we meet on a fairly regular basis. And talk about like what should we model, which we what should we do, that kind of thing. And Matt Matt had a picture of this. And it was from it was from Twitter. And last week I was like, oh, I gotta go look at this thing I'm gonna model. Uh, I'll worry about it later. When I did go to look at it, it was gone. It was it did not exist on Twitter anymore. Um Oh neat. Thanks, Twitter. So yeah, but I was able to find the title and find some pictures of it, but yeah, that was that was fun. That was cool. Yeah, so that's kind of how I don't know I don't know where Matt found it. So yeah, sometimes stuff just magically appears in our feeds. It's true. It's true. Okay, so I think I got a quarter of this thing. Did I'm gonna grab? So get rid of that. I'm gonna grab this. to do something different and lock that instead of turning it off. I don't want to see it, but I don't want to actually do anything with it. I'm going to take this piece right here. I'm going to rotate it. Like that. And then I'm going to move it over. There. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. It's coming together. It's oh. looking like a real fake, a real conceptual fake building. You do stuff and like it actually lines up and everything snaps together perfectly. That's that's just that's swell. I don't. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the thing that keeps me coming back. Ooh. And here's here's the thing I can do now. Um. Okay. Let me save. I'm going to take this and I'm going to use flip. I'm going to grab my red plane. I'm going to drag that over to the center of the tower. I'm going to hold down option. I guess I just tap it. When a plan comes together. Boom. All right. And then I'll grab that. Something's not right there, but my, my middle building's not lining up right. But I'll uh, take the, all of those. Why did I over farther? 
Um, okay. I don't know. I'll figure that out next. Right now, while they're still selected, I'm going to draw a line right here that I can option rotate from. All right, so again, I know, not symmetrical in the real world. Something else is going on, but uh, for for what I can see in modeling, it's looking pretty cool. Not sure why this got hid, but this line got erased and smoothed. Gremlins. There's gremlins in your model. Constantly. Awesome. All right, I like it. All right, so I'm going to pull this out to the midpoint. Okay. My arc's a little shallower, but uh, I'm going to let that go. This is looking pretty cool. I think it still looks. It does look, yeah. It looks, looks, looks like the right thing. I copied Heather. Apparently with that, because I got <laughs> I got one I got one heather at each corner. By the <laughs> way, this this uh, in case y'all don't know, this is Heather, the new scale figure for 2023. Uh, she is part of our development group, and she's got a cat whose name I don't remember. Nice, nice. I wonder if it's in the component definition. It could be. Let's look. Uh, I heard that she was actually going to Just Heather. legally change her last name to Scale Figure now. Whoa! Yeah, that that would be that'd be one way to immortalize your immortalization. Yeah. All right. Now for the Bean, you guys have, have how many people out there have are familiar with the Bean in Chicago? I am. Um, you know that place, the thing, Mr. Bean, right? We're talking about the uh, no silly the English comedian, da guy. Bean. Da Bean, is that I, do you think that's what how they refer to it? Da Bean, they do. I mean, that's the Bean, yeah. It's this big, if you have you can look it up, Chicago, the Bean, it's this big, uh, soft, <laughs> whoopy, <laughs> kidney bean ish looking shape in Chicago. And, but it looks like a thing that was rendered in the middle of the city. It does. It looks fake. When you see pictures of it, you think it's a test rendering of a reflective material. But yeah. it's uh, it's weird. It's really weird. And it's just this big bean thing. You can, it's it's huge. You can walk underneath it. But it's all silver and reflective. It's very cool, but very did weird. You, and that's, that's kind of what... This has got bean vibes for me. Did you know that it has a real name? It's not really the bean? The actual sculpture is titled Cloudgate. Cloudgate. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But luckily on Wikipedia, there's a bean disambiguation to make sure that okay. you can still find it as the bean. I wonder how often they polish it. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, it's outside. It's not like... Right. I mean, yeah. oxidation is constant and it's next to a friggin' huge body of water. So it is. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's uh it's a weird thing. It's definitely weird. All right. Now you used to live in Chicago, right? I grew up in the uh, Chicago suburbs, so Okay. Uh but this wasn't built till two thousand and six. Yeah, I wasn't there so when you I was grown up at that point. Not that I, I you know, as a child I did not go downtown a whole lot. Yeah, as a as a suburb kid, I wasn't like uh, you know shooting downtown every every weekend or anything the like weekend. that. But uh, when I did go down, that park did not have a bean in it. Oh, now it does. Kids today don't know how good they got it. All right, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put a well, circle. The suburban here. the suburban kids probably don't know. That's right. Yeah, I'm sure the inner city kids are just all day long, just praising the bean. Um, I'm going to draw this. And 
I'm actually going to take a copy of that, stick it over there. And this has like a, uh, it's like a little, little bit of a, a hoop going on around there. So I'm going to, I'm going to create that. I'm going to come down here, put a circle in. It looks thinner than my other one. So I'll make it half. I'll, I'll make it two feet and I'm going to take that and move it up. being silly grab by the bottom point put that bottom point up on my ellipse take that ellipse tools follow me clicky yeah that's the stuff all right and grab that soften it and while i'm in here so so i got that i will actually Let me go do this and then I'll come back to that. I'm gonna take this guy right here. I do, I do want a face on this, so I'll just draw a line like that and then draw a circle directly below that. Oops. And I can take that and just say tools, follow me with that circle. There's my silver bean. I don't have reflective materials, of course, but I'll throw a little uh, light gray on there. A little darker. There we go. I'm gonna grab that and make it its own group and command X to cut it. That way I can come in here, grab this guy, option copy him over to the other side, paste this guy should be able to put him right on that corner and he should fit perfect. I don't know why I'm assuming this egg shape is a he. I apologize. Um, why it's a what? I keep saying he. I'm going to copy him. Oh. I don't know. I don't know why the words are coming out of my mouth. I think it's okay. We're getting there. You just We're got insight. There. There's still some cool geometry to be did, though. Um. Each of these, as you zoom in here, and actually you can kind of see it a little better on the uh, the pictures in the forum uh, that Gusbert put up, these floors here actually come out. And again, you can see, again, you can see hints that this is not the same front to back, but regardless, um, I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna one foot up, draw a line across like that. Copy that, and then once again, doing things out of order. This should have happened before I copied everything around. Uh, and I didn't make any component before I copied it anyhow. Back whenever we used to do live streams three times a week, you didn't make these kinds of mistakes. I know, I'm rusty. It's all Eric and Tyson's fault, because they want to, I want to turn me on. Yeah, those guys. I'm just kidding. I love uh, the fact that we have other people modeling. Um, you guys know I I do love doing this. It is it is a great time for me. Uh, but I think it's so cool that we can get some other workflows and opinions on this stuff. I think it's uh, it's cool. Hopefully you guys like it too. Hopefully you guys enjoy getting to see how Tyson or Eric would break down a problem instead of, uh, you know, well, let's just hand stitch it being the solution to everything. Right. You've got, you've got one guy that will methodically plot it all out in advance, make several test models before the live stream. You've got another guy that, well, he'll just, he just does the scenery around it. And then you have you who just kind of makes it up every time you get here. That's, that's, that's my deal. That's how I do it. And then, Every once in a while, that guy uh, does it and then does it again because he didn't think ahead. So, you know, <laughs> lots of options here. All right, so I'm going to grab those pieces. It is, it is nice. Nice to have the different styles. That's right. That's what I keep telling people. Trust me, it's nice. Oh, hey, you know what I should do now? I should make it a component right now in case I have to make this change again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, 
Randy suggested you might also save it. Randy. That's a, that's a great idea, Randy. It's not, it's not, it's not the worst idea. Keggy said you should squish the egg a bit so you can get the pool underneath it because there's supposed to be a pool that people oh, can yeah. wander around. So. Yeah, you're right. Windmill. In fact, actually, Cyanide said it's on a stand. Now I got to go look at the. Oh, yeah, it's got legs. The darn thing's got legs. I feel like we're getting into detail work now. Legs. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Right? Next time you're telling me, you know, where things fall down. Yeah. All of a sudden it gets too real. Yeah, I don't, I don't like, like the that. Uh, MTV's The Real World. Stop having fun and start getting real. There we go. She floats. It does look like something from Asgard or Wakanda or like some imaginary city. It does not look. Uh, Real, real. Speaking of Wakanda, did you go see Ant Man yet? I tomorrow. I'm going to see it tomorrow, and uh, okay. you know, there's a lot of negativity fly, flying around this thing, like uh, negative reviews and stuff. I'm, I'm. Surprised. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like the the farther along we go with this whole Marvel universe, the more people are taking it way too seriously. Yeah, I my. My expectations are, I will just admit, quite low. <laughs> I'm not, I think I'm not expecting it to be amazing. I'm not expecting a work of art. I'm expecting to have a fun time. So, I I'm, I'm fairly optimistic that Paul Rudd's going to say some funny stuff. And we're going to see some crazy, hard to believe special effects. And I think that I think that's all okay. I can accept that. Sounds, that sounds that sounds like a great time. I, I'll sign up for that experience. Oh, Colin said this is a good opportunity, me monitor to be past it, where you can use the the new improved erase tool. Yeah, and actually, that, erase. If you guys do not know, erase got. Oops, I did all that super low poly arcs. I want some curves here. That's great. Uh, erase tool got there's I think there's a lot of changes in 2023 that like weren't up front and noticed but uh, you know there's this thing right so I take a line like this and I go like that 30x where if I went in with the eraser and I real quickly dragged it across it would get like get one two skip one get two get three get you know like I wouldn't get all of them but now it's so much better like every pixel you cross with the eraser is gets picked up um way better so yeah i do like that thanks that's a good point colin that's cool um i'm just gonna kind of make up a shape on the back here there's like there is a like a pool thing back here that and I want to soften that that corner a bit that Ugh. Drives me crazy when I can't quite inference right. But I have learned if I've learned one thing from live modeling, it's stop trying to make the thing that you're trying to do work if you don't know how to do it, do it a different way. <laughs> Yes. That's the thing I've learned. I mean, whether or not you're live modeling or modeling at home or modeling for the first time or the 17th time. Yeah. Stop it. 
one of the one of the my favorite things about SketchUp is that I can do it the way that is the funnest to me. And so that means that sometimes I'm not doing it necessarily the smartest way, but I might be doing it something that's more fun or getting there is fun or or whatever. Yeah, I see that. I definitely. Well, that's the thing is, uh, I'll say for me, uh, modeling is a lot of times kind of my relaxation. You know, like I I try to take it easy when I model and like in the morning even, you know, I'll just uh, grab a cup of coffee and work on a model or something like that. Just just nice and easy. And, and I, I think that's good. Um, so I'm trying, I was thinking of different ways to make this again. I'm, I'm modeling a little bit different cause I don't have enough detail for this, this step or whatever. So mine's gonna be symmetrical, but how I could get that arc in there. And I think the easiest way is going to be to come down here. I should space it, leave myself up here. This is this way, 10 foot. This way, 10 foot. Draw an arc between these two. Grab this. More follow me. And I can just grab just what's left right here. Just make it a group because I won't put it on the other side too. There you go. Straight back into the face. There it is. So yeah, I think it's a. Uh, there's definitely a. Uh, oh, I forgot the back is not. Straight. <laughs> maybe, maybe they'll just go. Uh, let's just go through there. All right. I don't know what I'm gonna do in the back. Let's let's just explode this and uh, see what happens. Let's. Speaking of modeling for fun, what are you guys working on right now? What's everybody What's everybody got open in SketchUp? Or what was open in SketchUp before you decided to uh, make your life significantly better by joining us live? What, what was your last file open or file save? That's a good question. Uh, me personally, my last, last thing was working on so I just got a new saw stop for my for my shop and so I recently redid the interior model for my shop space so I could try and organize things so that's my uh, that's my recent one oh and I'm also laying out floor joists to do at an attic or a loft or a second floor or whatever we call that and maybe it'll be warm enough to actually do something i we, some, i'm hoping yeah i uh i don't have the luxury of bringing my work my my bench into the into my inside office like some people yeah i did that and it's i don't regret it Let's see. Kitchen cabinets, Studio RT cool. Brad's working on a personal astronomy observatory shed. What? Jeez, some people are so much more ambitious than me. <laughs> Great. Let's see. Keggy's working on a revamp of his workshop. You know, Lawrence just modeled the James Webb telescope. Whoa, that sounds like a good time and uh, ambitious thing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I, I think it's funny workshop 
stuff. Uh, we've talked about this a little bit about how uh, you know half the woodworkers you see on social media spend their whole time modeling their workbench and then work on tools and that kind of thing. Uh, I think it's yeah. funny that that's uh, you know, that's a common well, a common occurrence is to to work on the thing you use to work on your hobby. Maybe maybe we're all looking here. Here I'm. Mean, here's what I'm going to throw out is. Right now it's winter time, so we're all just all in the conceptual phase until it's warm enough that we can actually be on the work on it phase. Sure. Maybe that's it. How about that. Yeah. How about that? It sounds plausible. Sounds, sounds reasonable. Sounds it actually sounds like a lot more thought went into that than what really probably is going on. But I'll still yeah, no, I'll I'm, concede. I'm, I'm sure that that's the case. I'm really good at coming up with an excuse after the fact. No, we do have. Looking well, now I need uh, to. Keggy said Lawrence's model is cool. So now we got to figure out. We got to go find Lawrence's model. I wonder if he's got it in 3D Warehouse. Right, were you saying something? Oops, I accidentally made a disco ball. <laughs> Man, if I had a, a nickel for every time I said that. Um. All right, that's not going to work. Let's see in here. I'm going to grab this, uh, just this face. I'm going to make it a unique texture. Oh, no, not. I'm going to. I think I found Lawrence's bottle. I think I found it. Oh, that sucker is complicated. I wish that there was an animation feature so I could expand the sale. Hmm. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Whoa, what is going on over here? I was trying to edit the texture and I don't seem to have that option. Can we get rid of that in 2023? <laughs> I hope not. I can make a unique texture, but I can't seem to. Oh, there it is. That was weird. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, I'm going to take this up, make it big. I escaped. Ugh. Sometimes it's the simple things. Simple things in life. Get you. The, those are the best, right? There's something. I'll tell you. All right, I'm going to take that. Projected. Sample that. Apply that to my, my guy. It's a bit unrelated, but I, I noticed this morning that I could see the sun before, like close to six o'clock, like between before six thirty even. Oh yeah, it's it's like coming up in the morning now. Yeah, it's like it's like there's more to a day than four hours, or however many it is. Yeah, those of you who are not aware, uh, Colorado has had a real winter this year. Like I know a lot. Some people think that that's Colorado that we're just like all skiing and sled dogs and snowmobiles all the time. But the truth is like most winters are incredibly mild. Like we don't have a whole lot of snow or cold weather here. So the fact that in the last two months we've had like overnight lows that are below freezing more often than not is an anomaly. The cold, coldest 
temperatures and like like some record setting days right in february yeah or january yeah it's my my real metric for how wintry this winter has been is my daughter who is constantly all she ever says is winter's her favorite season she hates all these other seasons and whenever i mentioned it's supposed to snow again next week she goes uh which is a teenager for I'm so over this. I thought it was funny that I heard a term that always baffled me when I was a child that yesterday they said it was too cold to snow. <laughs> so I don't know. There's some science yeah. or meteorology in there somewhere where it's, I guess it's so cold that the, the crystals or the whatever's in the cloud don't fall. They just stay up there. I don't know how that works, but uh, yeah, we got snow and then we got, 15 below and then uh yeah then uh that's kind of where we're at so supposed to warm up and and it's supposed to be and we're talking all in fahrenheit here it's supposed yeah. to be back up to 50 tomorrow and for the next four or five days yeah which so that, i think what's that that temperature we've had is like what in the 20s i teens yeah in celsius yeah it's been rough it's been not cool well you know what guys i kind of feel like uh the next step is to go in and start adding like windows and stuff like that. And I'm not going to do that. So <laughs> apply texture. <laughs> well, no, because at this point uh, to do that, I really would want to get more into some components and add some more details. And this is I, I feel like. For what I set out to do, I'm feeling pretty, pretty content on where I ended up. So uh, like for so it really is. It is a kind of a good sort of topic, though, is it looks like it's all fairly symmetrical. You'd think that it could be done almost procedurally, but like, as you kind of, as you get at it, it becomes so unique mm -hmm. so quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it, I mean, it, and again, first, first, when you look at something, Hey, that's a cool building. But then you come back in, like I said, I'm, I'm still kind of hung up on this. I don't quite get what's like, the top is slightly askew from the bottom and the bottom that two feet actually kind of one steps forward or something. Um, and then again, like I said, from if you look up on the forum, forums.sketchup.com, there's some posts in, or some photos in there, renders, it's not real, where you can see that the back half is something different. I don't know what it is, but like it doesn't go through like this. It does something else. So yeah, yeah, there's there's definitely something like looking at these different pictures that Lawrence posted up here. I mean, there's definitely something happening uh, kind of in the background. Yeah. So, but I, I mean, like I said, I think for, uh, for not knowing, not, not having prepared or having any idea what was going to happen, I feel pretty good about where this ended up because this is a cool model. And uh, that was a challenge to get uh, some of those shapes lined up. To get where you were. Yeah. It's uh, So it looks like, Mihai posted over on the forum using like you had you had posited about extensions to use and he found the drop extension Did it work? kind of showed an example of it it looks like it might have I don't know you look over there let's see kind of does he's got he's got his floors I wonder if I can can I play a video if I drag this over here oh man Dreamy just got so much easier. I'm just going to show everybody else's videos. <laughs> it's, it's a watch party is what this is called. So we drop those. Oh, boom, baby. Oh, huh. nice. So you have to flip the axis, but it's just it a does. simple rotate. Oh, I do remember that playing with drop is it's it goes one direction. Um, yeah, because well, I mean, when you drop something sideways, it just goes down. By the name, it really does make a lot of sense. So it kind of yep, yep. maybe kind of wonder too. You can make then. one called like wonder. Go ahead. Oh. And then we just talk, call it something like toss or throw or chuck. I was gonna say I was gonna say spit. <laughs> I don't know why, because it's picturing a drop of water. Spitting. Um, yeah, then could actually have modeled the negative space on the side and dropped them out rather than dropping them in. But yeah, that's cool. That is, that is, uh, yeah, that works too. Cause I got the same thing got them in the right place. You just have to go down and cut them. And that again, at that point, oh, and he's using Zorro. So Zorro is an extension that allows you to 
project cuts, I guess, across 3D geometry. So you see, he created a 2D cut line and said, push that across these pieces and it chopped them all off. So pretty cool. Yeah, we've got some, uh, I, I want to give props to extension developers and awesome members of our forum on that one. That's pretty, pretty sweet. Thank you, Mihai. And Mihai, I got to uh, actually hang out with Mihai at Basecamp. So did you, right, Jody? You're with us. Yeah. Yeah, we were there. Fun. We had to go grab dinner. That was good. Cool. Well, you know, like I said, I'm going to call it at this point because uh, there is more detail to be did, but I think that would be the the boring the boring part. Be going in and you know putting details. Yeah, in. that would that would be like the the boring side of stitching. That's right. I wouldn't I won't, I won't say video card uh, level, but it definitely would be kind of tedious with its repetition. Yeah. That was not that was not a highlight of my career. <laughs> you know what? I like to think that it was A, something that we can keep calling back on to make fun of you. So that's good. That's true. Valid. And B, an opportunity to see that, okay, maybe this is not really that interesting a thing to do. You know, when you look at a video card or a piece of, you know, computer innards, it looks like it's going to be fun. And there's all these little pieces, but it turns out they're just the same stupid geometry over and over Okay, I'm getting a little heated right now. I'm going to call this. <laughs> Just take a breath. Whew. Anyhow, thanks for joining us. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and call it there. That was a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to do, I don't plug stuff very often, but it's relative. Uh, I do have a book releasing uh, next Tuesday, the 28th of February, if you guys want to check it out. 3D printing for SketchUp be available on Amazon.com. Uh, it's exactly, I don't, I don't have to tell you. It's exactly what the title says. It's about bottling in 3D in SketchUp with the intention of going 3D printing. But uh, it's a good book. I, I'm pretty proud of it. And uh, yeah, you can you can grab a copy now and have it shipped to you next Tuesday when it releases. I, I mean, before I release everyone uh, or let you continue that shut up, I saw something yesterday saying that Amazon is battling a huge influx of AI created book submissions. People really? are AI creating books and trying to get them published on Amazon. Yeah. It's happening. Which, you know, sometimes sometimes talking with you, I, I would suggest that your book could have been written by AI. Dang. Sometimes you're like AI. <laughs> I could have saved a lot of time and energy. I was waking up early and writing and stuff. Man. Uh, yeah. No, you just be like, chat. Hey, Google, write book. <laughs> write me 180 pages on 3D printing. Boom. <laughs> Man. Okay, that's all. That's all I have to say about that. Rather that's than getting digging into more AI stuff, that is kind of cool. That is exciting. You got a got a model coming out too. Yeah, or a book coming out. Same thing. Awesome. Well, hey, thank you guys. Uh, swing by next week. I'm. I believe it's back to Tyson because uh, it's his turn. So it'll be a fun Makes one. Sense. I don't even know what he's doing yet, but it's going to be good. Whatever it is, it will be fun. Something. Yeah. And educational. Yes, you'll learn. You'll laugh. You'll cry. It'll be a gambit of emotions. It'll be good. Mm, nice. All right. We guys have a wonderful weekend. Have a great week. And uh, we will see you next time. See you guys.